How these stories unfold if it's your first time here and you want to discover new stories that will make you wiser and more intelligent, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss any updates. The tiger is an incredible creature, a predator at the top of the food chain that can reach speeds of up to 65 kilometers per hour. It is also the largest wild feline, and like other wild animals, it has a natural maternal instinct and will do anything to protect its cubs. Perhaps people should be more careful when driving on highways near forests and nature reserves, where there are wild animals, they might even lend a hand, and it is everyone's responsibility to protect these animals, especially when they suffer potentially fatal injuries. The love that humans feel for animals can transcend boundaries, and there are many people in the world who would do anything to protect them. From having the awareness to protect them to giving their lives for them, people can. Do more than you can imagine, if someone hadn't told the kitten that the sewer would be where it lost its life, if a man hadn't abandoned his wheelchair and crawled to where the animal was to save it, it would have died. Humans are not creatures that exist and live alone on this planet, we share it with all other creatures, just as we affect other animals, they also affect us, although the degree of influence is different. They remind us that we are not the biggest and best creatures on them planet that's why we want to list some of the most dangerous animals in the world the tiger lives in asia and is probably the feline that has killed the most humans in history tiger attacks have been particularly frequent in areas with large tiger populations where they are forced to compete with an increasing number of humans in india alone at least 373,000 humans were killed by tigers between 1800 and 2009 Today, there are less than 4,000 tigers left in the world, so their conflicts with humans have decreased significantly. Therefore, no one knows how many people have died from tiger attacks worldwide, but based on the estimated number of deaths and the limited distribution of tigers, we can calculate that tigers kill at least 50 to 250 people per year worldwide. Tigers are likely to kill more people per year than lions that day, while Tigresa was walking through the forest in search of food for her cubs, however, she couldn't find anything, on her way back, she found a small basket covered with a white hat, Tigresa approached the object, thinking that she might have found food for her cubs, when she lifted the white hat, she discovered a newborn baby girl inside, initially, Tigresa thought about eating the infant, but then she realized that the baby was just like her cubs, a newborn in need of a mother's care, so, she picked up the baby from the basket, Alicia suddenly lost her only newborn daughter. Her mother and other neighbors searched everywhere but couldn't find her, Alicia's mother was out of the house, her husband was at work, and her grandmother had accompanied the child, despite being deaf and mute, the grandmother continued searching, when she had to return home, she still couldn't find her granddaughter, Alicia, the mother, remained unaware of how the child had left the house and disappeared suddenly, when Bruno returned and learned of the situation. He blamed his wife for allegedly abandoning their newborn daughter without permission, when the grandmother learned of the quarrel. She called Alice, the grandmother told Alice that it was Bruno's extroverted sister, Clara, who had entered the house quietly and fled to the forest with the child Alice was surprised and asked her mother how she knew, given that Clara couldn't hear or see, however, her mother said she had smelled her perfume, Bruno and Alice went to Clara's house and asked her to tell them where the child was, Clara refused to talk to them, seeking revenge on Bruno, she had been close to Bruno since childhood, and he had promised to marry her, however, at the last moment, he changed his mind and chose to marry Alice, this betrayal led Clara to wait for an opportunity to retaliate, she had been observing the couple since the birth of their first daughter and decided to make Bruno shed tears for the loss of his child, Clara went to Alice's house, bought some items from the store, entered the house quietly while Alice was away, and took the child to the forest. When she saw Tigresa approaching in the distance, she left the baby. Thinking the hungry Tigresa would surely take care of her, the tiger would eat, and this would be the perfect moment to seek revenge, 
but to its surprise, the tigress spared the life of the poor cub, instead of eating it, she preferred to play with it, no one witnessed this heartwarming scene as the big felid happily jumped around the cub, the tigress, who had reunited the girl with her tiger cubs, treated her as her own daughter. She nursed her alongside her cubs, keeping her warm, delicious. Husband and some neighbors searched for the girl in the forest, and she decided not to return until she found her baby, when it got dark, everyone went back home but she stayed in the forest to continue her search, Alicia felt tired and slept under a tree, the next day, she heard strange noises and became terrified when she saw the tigress, as the tigress approached her and started sniffing her, everyone thought the fierce big cat would quickly kill and devour her, but the tigress seemed to be playing and excitedly jumping around, after about 15 minutes, the tiger stepped back and stood still on the grass, at the beginning of the video, the tigress could be seen lying on her side, Gyrus explained the situation, and it was then that they could see the embryo sac starting to open, the caretaker team was thrilled, but something was not right, when the first cub emerged, it wasn't breathing, and everyone started to panic, but the tiger knew exactly what to do, she vigorously licked her. Cub and this cub. Trying to make them breathe normally, a tiger cub usually starts breathing shortly after feeling its mother's tongue, but this baby was gasping, after hearing the events described by Alice, she still wasn't sure why the tigress behaved so unnaturally instead of eating the baby when she had the chance, one possible explanation is that the tigress was searching for a mate, and her maternal drive temporarily overcame her hunting instinct, as a result, she took the baby as her own, the tigress realized that Alice was the mother of the girl she had taken because she noticed that Alice smelled like the baby, and so, she returned the baby to Alice, Alice went back home with the girl, surprising her husband, who thought he would never see her again, no one could have imagined that the tender wild animal would gently care for the poor baby and let her stay with her peacefully for the rest of the day. Alice said that when she slowly emerged from the cover, they were surprised to find her. Playing with a helpless spotted tiger cub was found while the police were called, and Clara was arrested by them. In some places, the tiger is considered a royal animal, as the national animal of India, the tiger symbolizes power, strength, grace, wisdom, and resilience. There are communities that can adapt to it, so, why not save the tiger? Saving the tiger means saving humanity. The tiger is not just a beautiful animal but also an indicator of the forest's health, saving the tigers means saving our forests because tigers cannot live where there are no trees, in turn, the forest ensures the supply of food and water for everyone, the fact that the tigress knew exactly what to do to bring her cub back to life is incredible, it shows how intricate and perfect nature is, in addition to millions of views and hundreds of thousands of likes, over 10,000 people have commented on this beautiful tiger family. Share this video with your friends and family, thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe to our channel. Give us a like, and activate the notification bell, we will respond to your comments as soon as possible, thanks for watching, if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe, tell me what you think of this story in the comments, until next time after watching this story, how do you feel, then there is an another story about a tiger, let's expect what will happen, the tiger is an incredible creature, a predator at the top of the food chain that can reach speeds of up to 65 kilometers per hour, it is also the largest wild feline and, like other wild animals, it has a natural maternal instinct and will do anything to protect its cubs, perhaps people should be more careful when driving on highways near forests and nature reserves where there are wild animals, we should even lend them a hand, it is everyone's responsibility to protect these animals, especially when they are at risk of fatal injuries, the love that humans feel for animals can transcend species. Boundaries, there are many people in the world who would do anything to protect them, from having the awareness to protect them to giving their lives for them, people can do more of these things than you can imagine, 
if someone hadn't told the kitten that it would be the sewer where it would lose its life, if a man hadn't abandoned his wheelchair and crawled to where the animal was to save it, it would have died. Humans are not creatures that exist and live alone on this planet, we share it. With all other creatures, just as we affect other animals, they also affect us, although the degree of influence is different, they remind us that we are not the biggest and best creatures on the planet, that's why we want to list some of the most dangerous animals in the world, the tiger, which lives in Asia, is probably the feline that has killed the most humans in history. Tiger attacks have become particularly frequent in areas with large tiger populations, where they are forced to compete. With an increasing number of humans. In India alone, at least 373,000 humans were killed by tigers between 1800 and 2009, today, there are fewer than 4,000 tigers left in the world, so their conflicts with humans have significantly decreased, therefore, no one knows how many people die each year due to tiger attacks worldwide between 1800 and 2009. Thousands of people died at the hands of tigers, today, there are fewer than 4,000 tigers left in the world, so their conflicts with humans have decreased significantly, nobody knows. Exactly how many people have died from tiger attacks worldwide, however, based on the estimated number of deaths and the limited distribution of tigers, it is calculated that tigers kill at least between 50 and 250 people per year worldwide, and they may kill more people per year than lions on that day. The tigress was wandering through the forest in search of food for her cubs, but she found nothing. On her way back, she stumbled upon a small basket covered with a white hat, the tigress. Approached the object, thinking that she might have found food for her cubs, when she removed the white hat, she found a newborn baby girl inside, at first, the tigress wanted to eat the infant, but she realized that the baby was just born, like her own cubs, and needed the care of her mother, so, she picked her up from the basket, Alicia suddenly lost her only newborn daughter. Her mother and other neighbors searched everywhere but couldn't find her, Alicia's mother was away from home, her husband was at work, and her grandmother, despite being deaf, accompanied the child, when they had to return home, they still couldn't find her daughter, Alicia's mother had no idea how the child had left the house and disappeared suddenly, when Bruno returned and learned of the situation, he blamed his wife for abandoning their newborn daughter without permission. When the grandmother learned of the argument, she called Alice. The grandmother told her that Clara, Bruno's outgoing relative, had entered the house silently and fled to the forest with the baby. Alice was surprised and asked her mother how she knew since she couldn't hear or see, but her mother said she had smelled her perfume, so, Bruno and Alice went to Clara's house and asked her to tell them where the child was, but she refused to speak to them, and the young woman got revenge on Bruno, she had been very close to Bruno since she was a child, and he had promised to marry her, but at the last moment, he changed his mind and decided to marry Alice, which made the young woman wait for an opportunity to get revenge on him, she had been watching the couple since they had their first daughter and decided to make Bruno shed tears for the loss of his daughter, she did it because he had abandoned her, so, the woman went to Alice's house and went to the store to buy some things, then she quietly entered the house while Alice was away, her grandmother was nearby and said, who's here, are you Alice, she didn't make any noise, Clara took the child to the forest where she wanted to get, rid of her, when she saw the tigress approaching in the distance, she left her there immediately, thinking the hungry tigress would surely take her, while they were calling the police and Clara was being arrested by them since she was a child, Bruno promised to marry her, but at the last moment, he changed his mind and decided to marry Alice, this made the young woman wait for an opportunity to seek revenge on him, she had been observing the couple since they had their first daughter and, Decided to make Bruno shed tears for the loss of his daughter, she did this because he had abandoned her, so the woman went to Alice's house and went to the store to buy some things, then, she calmly entered the house while Alice was away, her grandmother was nearby and asked, who's there, are you Alice, she made no noise, 
Clara took the girl to the forest where she intended to get rid of her, when she saw a tigress approaching from a distance. She left the baby there immediately, thinking that the hungry tigress would surely eat her. And this would be the perfect moment for revenge, but to her surprise, the tigress spared the life of the poor cub, she didn't eat her, instead, she preferred to play with her. No one witnessed this heartwarming scene as the big felid happily jumped around the cub, the tigress, who had reunited the girl with her tiger cubs, treated her as her own daughter, she nursed her alongside her cubs and kept her warm. Alicia's husband and some neighbors searched for the girl in the forest, and she decided not to return until she found her baby, when it got dark, everyone went back home, but she stayed in the forest to continue her search. Alicia felt tired and slept under a tree, the next day, she heard strange noises and became terrified when she saw the tigress, as the tigress approached her and started sniffing her. Everyone described how the fierce big cat would quickly kill and devour her. But the tigress seemed to be playing and excitedly jumping around, after about 15 minutes, the tiger stepped back and stood still. That day, La Tigresa was wandering through the forest in search of food for her cubs, however, she found nothing that day. On her way back, she discovered a small basket covered with a white hat. Tigresa approached the object thinking that she might have found food for her cubs, when she lifted the white hat, she found a newborn baby inside, initially, Tigresa considered eating the infant, but she realized that it was a newborn, like her cubs, and needed a mother's care, so, she picked up the baby from the basket, Alicia suddenly lost her only newborn daughter, her mother and other neighbors searched everywhere but couldn't find her, Alicia's mother was out of the house, her husband was working, and her grandmother accompanied the girl, despite being deaf and mute, her grandmother couldn't find her daughter when she had to return home, Bruno, upon returning and learning about the situation, blamed his wife for abandoning their newborn daughter without permission. When the grandmother learned of the fight, she called Alice, the grandmother explained that it was Clara, the outgoing one of Bruno, who had entered the house quietly and fled to the forest with the girl. Alice was surprised and asked her mother how she knew that Clara couldn't hear or see, but her mother said she had smelled her perfume. Bruno and Alice went to Clara's house and asked her to tell them where the girl was. But she refused to speak with them. The young woman sought revenge on Bruno because they had been close since she was a child, and he promised to marry her, however, he changed his mind at the last moment and decided to marry Alice, making the young woman wait for an opportunity to retaliate, she had been observing the couple since their first daughter and decided to make Bruno shed tears for the loss of his daughter, she did it because he had abandoned her so, she went to Alice's house, bought some things at the store, and quietly entered the house while she was away, her grandmother was there and asked who's here, is it Alice, she didn't make any noise, Clara took the girl to the forest, where she intended to get rid of her, when she saw Tigresa approaching from a distance, she left the baby there, thinking the hungry Tigresa would surely eat her, an unsuspecting spotted tiger cub, they called the police, and Clara was arrested, in some places, the tiger is considered a real animal, the national animal of India, the tiger symbolizes power, strength, grace, wisdom, and resilience, and there are communities that can adapt to it, so why not save the tiger, which means saving humanity, the tiger is not just a beautiful animal but also an indicator of the forest's health, saving tigers means saving our forests because tigers cannot live where there are no trees, in turn, the forest ensures the supply of food and water for everyone. The fact that the tigress knew exactly what to do to revive her cub is incredible, it shows how intricate and perfect nature is. Besides millions of views and hundreds of thousands of likes, more than 10,000 people have commented on this beautiful tiger family, share this video with your friends and family, thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe to our channel, give us a like, and activate the notification bell. We will respond to your comments as soon as possible. In some places, the tiger is considered a royal animal.
As the national animal of India, the tiger symbolizes power, strength, grace, wisdom, and resilience. There are communities that can adapt to it, so why not us? Saving the tiger means saving humanity. The tiger is not just a beautiful animal but also an indicator of the health of the forest. Saving tigers means saving our forests because tigers cannot live where there are no trees. In turn, the forest ensures the supply of food and water for everyone. The fact that the tigress knew exactly what to do to bring her cub back to life is incredible, it shows us how intricate and perfect. Nature is, in addition to millions of views and hundreds of thousands of likes, over 10,000 people have commented on this beautiful tiger family, share this video with your friends and family, thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe to our channel, give us a like, and activate the notification bell, we will respond to your comments as soon as possible after watching this story, what do you think of? Then there is an another story about a girl, let's continue, this is a magical story. About a girl who suddenly hears a strange voice while walking through the forest, this extraordinary woman is a savior, choosing to be the best friend of a tiger, land clearing and hunting are the main reasons for their danger, activities that humans often engage in, a veterinarian named Sarah decided to help and care for injured tigers due to legal hunting and forest clearing, Sarah loves to ride her bicycle in the city park. A gift from her husband for her birthday, she married a man much older than her and was very happy. The couple lived in an apartment, had a good car, and both worked in a well-known factory in the city, earning a good income, this put them in a good financial situation, making Sarah's pre-marriage dreams come true and bringing her great joy in life. When Sarah settled into her home, she began thinking about having children and bringing a cat into her home to raise and care for since she was a child. She loved animals and had a beautiful cat back in the village, but she left it at her parents' house when she moved to her new home in the city. After the first year of marriage, everything was going well until her husband Santiago started doing things she didn't like, he began chatting with a young woman from his workplace, and their marriage started to suffer. Sarah, noticing the constant misery of the young woman, decided to bring a dog home. One day, returning from work. She saw a little tiger struggling to breathe in a cardboard box on the road, Sarah immediately realized that someone had abandoned and discarded the poor animal by the roadside, she decided to take the tiger to her home, care for it, and figure out what to do with it. When Sarah entered her house, she discovered that her husband Santiago was not there as usual, she took the poor tiger to her room and brought some milk for it to drink, the hungry tiger eagerly consumed the food as Sarah observed and sympathized with its condition. After the tiger finished eating all the food, it stuck out its tongue and licked. Prompting Sarah to realize it needed more food, Sarah realized that this poor animal was gentle and calm, motivating her to take it to the bathroom, she washed it with soap and shampoo, then placed it on her rug to sleep. The young woman avoided fighting with her husband and took the tiger to a farm near the city where she lived. She asked the owner, an elderly man, to take in the tiger on his farm because her husband wouldn't allow her to keep it. Sarah gradually fell in love with the calm and gentle tiger. This animal would wait for Sarah before approaching. As soon as she appeared in the distance, it would quickly come towards her, jump onto her lap, and lick her face while she embraced it tightly and gently stroked its fur in silence. They would sit together for a while, she would feed it and play with it before leaving and returning home. Sarah's husband was still absent from home. One day, he called her and confessed that he didn't love her, that he had never loved her, and that he loved another. Young woman, he wanted to marry her and live with her, Sarah was not surprised, her husband told her the truth, as she looked at him, the young woman no longer cared about her husband and decided to forget him forever, she started a new life. The first thing she did the next day was go to the farm to find her beloved tiger, however, she didn't find it inside the small house. She walked around the farm until she found it trembling in a puddle of water, she took it home and would live with it. Because there was no one to prevent it anymore, she welcomed it into her home, 
gave it a small room, and bought a mattress and some toys for it, the young woman focused all her interests on the loyal tiger that loved her, she bought things for it along with other objects, Sarah became fond of its company and enjoyed her time with the tiger, when she returned from work, she would bring tea and sit on the balcony of her apartment with her tiger, there, they would drink tea and read books, a month. After Sarah's last call, Santiago showed up at her house one day, he was drunk and offered to go back to how things were or threatened to take away her apartment, Sarah kicked him out and threatened to call the police if he bothered her again, she changed her SIM card to avoid any further disturbances. The people in the village had known Sarah since she was little, they used to play with her all the time when she came to visit her aunt. Sarah was known for her wit, her liveliness, and playing with everyone, which made all the children and adults adore her. The villagers welcomed her and told her they were willing to help her if she needed anything, Sarah shared her story with them and explained the reasons that led her to leave the village, this made everyone support her and express their affection, one day, after dinner, she went to the backyard to gaze at the stars and have her usual tea, suddenly, she saw Santiago approaching the house with a bouquet of roses and a bottle of wine in his hand, he staggered as he walked because he was very drunk. Sarah became alarmed and asked him to leave immediately, threatening to shout, which would attract the neighbors, however, Santiago asked her to speak softly, as Santiago approached Sarah, he told her that he was thinking of divorcing her and wanted her to come back home, Santiago grabbed her arm tightly and threw her to the ground, ordering her to walk in front of him, but the young woman screamed and begged him to let her go. At that moment, the man struck her on the head with the wine bottle. Rendering her unconscious, as he was about to attack her again, the tiger launched into the attack, grabbing his hand with the bottle and delivering a strong bite, the man fell to the ground, at that moment, a group of men arrived in the village and apprehended him, taking him to the police station, while Sarah was taken to the village clinic, fortunately, she regained consciousness, if Sarah had suffered another blow with the bottle, she would have died, the timely intervention of her faithful. Tiger saved her from death, there are many stories of animals helping people, initially, even the police did not believe the story of an elderly man from California, this story is truly strange, Bruno loves hiking and has encountered many locals and dangerous animals like poisonous snakes, he will surely remember this hike forever, on that fortunate day, Bruno saw a mother bear and her newborn cub about 12 meters away, at that moment, he didn't know that a fierce puma was stealthily approaching him, when he turned around to leave, the puma pounced on its herd with four swipes, at first, he thought it was a friend of his playing a joke on him, then Bruno felt lost, he quickly pulled out his hammer and struck the puma hard on the head against the slope, the puma growled but didn't leave, a massive figure leaped from the left, the mother bear rescued him after a fierce battle, Bruno only suffered scratches and bruises as he fled, the puma retreated and disappeared deep into the forest, the man knew that this bear recognized him from a previous encounter and saved him from the dangerous puma, thank you for watching, if you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, let me know what you think of this story in the comments below, until next time.